Edwin here with a little bit of picking for you with the uh, chord buddy. If you don't know, this is a G, a D, a C, and an E minor. And I told you I was going to try to simplify picking for people out there with the chord buddy. And um, I think I sort of got it where um, you can be able to do this. Nice and simple. We're only going to use this G button for right now. Just that G button. All I want you to do is hold down that G button, pluck that first string, and then strum the second all the way down. Nice and simple. When you can do that eight times in a row without stopping, then that means your muscle memory pattern has been established. Then what I want you to do is still hold that G down, pluck, strum, and then hammer on the G and strum. So it's nice and simple. So now instead of going, this is what I want you to do. that eight times in a row then you've established your muscle memory move on to the second part of the, or the third part of this right here which is going to be where you're going to reverse that you're going to do pick strum hammer on strum pick strum hammer on strum all you're doing is reversing what you just did and instead of uh, uh, doing the picking and the strumming on that one there so I'm going to try to put this right where you can see it. So hopefully you understand that. It is a pick, strum, hammer on, strum, pick, strum, hammer on, strum. The only difference is, is that you're hammering on the second string and then the second time you're hammering on the first string. Now when you do that, then you're going to go on to the fourth part of it, which is going to be pick, strum, holding that G, pick, strum, pick, strum, three times. Once you do that, then you're going to go to your E minor, and you're going to hold that down. You're going to pick that second string, and you're going to hit the third string, and then you're going to go backwards. Second and then back to the G and then it's going to be the three again then you're going to do the same thing you're going to hit the second one with the E minor then you're going to go to that third with the C this time and then you're going to hammer on that C then you're going to hit that fourth string then you're going to come up and hammer on the C on the third string. You're going to hammer on the C on the second string. Then you're going to go back down to the C on the third string. And then you're going to switch to your E minor and go on the second string, on the third string, and then you're going to hit it open. And then you're going to go in reverse, C, E minor, G. Now, if we do that all, put it together, it goes like this here. It is very hard traditionally to slow down picking. Um, it's something that you sort of got to just practice at. And um, once you once you get it down packed, then you can you know pretty much just jump right into it anywhere once you get used to it. Now, the cool thing about that, let me switch guitars here for just a minute. Now, this one here is not in tune that good, but let me grab this one right here. 
This one here's got a slight whine right here of that crazy uh, sound is because I got to redo these right here. So you'll just have to deal with it. But the cool thing about what I just showed you is you can use your fingers now without the chord buddy and still be able to do it on this second fret. On this first one, you're going to hit that where that dot is on your guitar, which is your G. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you go over here, you go to the second fret, hammer on that one, the second string, third, fourth is going to be open. Now, I'll do what I just did. Once you learn that, you can do it with or without the chord buddy. Um, I could go through the whole thing, but I don't want to be shooting you a burn over here because that's why I use the chord buddy, because my finger will stick straight up in the air while I'm playing. But anyways, um, hopefully y'all like it. This is Edwin Chord Buddy, G, D, C, E minor. Hopefully y'all like this little bit of tutorial that I put together for some picking. And uh, if you want, I'll, I'll put together a, a chart diagram that I sort of drew up right here for you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, anyways, I'll explain to you what it says. It just basically says, number one, hold down the G and pick one strum, and then do a hammer on, part two, of this second string. Add that on, go to the second one, and reverse that. Then you're going to do the G to the C, and then it tells you to go to the three downs and then it tells you to go to the E minor then the C and then etc 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 and um, it's sort of a floor mat that I'm trying to put together for people to learn how to pick I know this was long and boring but you got to give me a hand here I'm trying through trial and error I will perfect it and I will get it down packed to where it'll be as easiest form because everything I do is at the easiest form and I won't quit until I get it that way so y'all take it easy. This is Edwin, Chord Buddy, G, D, C, E minor. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you very much.